Um, let's just talk kind of about the water really briefly. I just want to go over a couple of the, the quick properties, even though they seem kind of basic, it'll all make sense as we start to talk about the philosophy of exercise and how to really maximize your use with your client or athlete in the swim X. Um, looking at buoyancy, everybody knows what buoyancy is, but it's your, your, your ability to float. It's that upward force that opposes that to the force of gravity. Water can be about five to 800 times more supportive than air, but it can be up to about 15 times more resistant. Um, water is also three-dimensional, so it's a surrounding medium. So even though we you know, only move in one plane, we need to be stable in those other two planes that, that, that are um, uh, that, that triplanar motion. So we need to be really stable in those other two. Water provides that automatically. Okay. Um, temperature is another thing. There's there's definitely some some studies regarding you know how how warm is too warm uh, in the pool. 92 degrees is neutral. It's it's the same temperature as your skin. So that's usually the best temperature for rehabilitation um, to kind of help promote relaxation, increase collagen extensibility, um, kind of help reduce pain, just promote relaxation and prepare the to prepare the person to kind of start exercising. If you're working with an athlete, you know, then that that's a little too warm. They're going to get somewhat overheated. So you want about 80 to 82 degrees. Um, either way, you want to make sure who's ever exercising in the water because you can sweat in the water, which a lot of people don't think they can. Um, you want to make sure they stay properly hydrated.